Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off in the middle of a fun, family-friendly raid of Lithuania. But don't worry, that's not all we're doing. I did promise to get you guys some real action today, so I'm here to deliver on that sweet action satisfaction. My fingers are all nice and limber so I can click on stuff better, and have a really wet mouth, which is good for commentating. So let's do this. Let's blow some dudes up. And I think we'll start with Sakala. That is after our aforementioned rating. Right. Um... It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Yeah. You know what? You guys go do your stuff. Enjoy. And you can just enjoy being in my dungeons for the rest of your life. Alright, so you've been ransomed. Though you have a bit more money, so um, you're welcome to my dungeon anytime you want. My dear friend, it pains me to have to ask you to join my war. I must confess that the war does not progress as well as I'd hoped it would. And it would, and I would really appreciate if you would lend me your help, your troops, and your siege weapons. Wow, what else do you want? The pants off my back? Um. Oh, I see. So this is the receiving end of that event where you ask your friend for help. Um, you're currently defending against the Peloponnesian Iconoclast Uprising, which has four times as many troops as you do. Right. And you're also defending against the Basilisk himself. Wow. Um, I'm going to send you four ducats. Um, thoughts and prayers, etc, etc. Uh, good luck. I hope you don't die. Immediately. Recently, I've had good fortune and made quite a few bargains. At first, it was only some nice pelts and a new sword, but today I aided my steward in striking an excellent deal regarding provisions for our soldiers. Could it be the ancestors guiding me? It's this lady's ghost watching over us. Fantastic. Whoa. Two stewardship for 10 years. Okay. Alright, so that puts us at 14. Does that mean that we'll no longer be over our domain limit? Please say yes. No. You make me sad. Ugh. Alright, that's fine. Now if only we could get rid of our arbitrariness. Mmm... Maybe sometime soon. Ah. You've captured your family. Yes, we have. Uh, would you like to pay for the ransom? One character for 26 bucks. That's not even the same person, I guess. You know what? It's fine. And maybe we can actually capture the dude himself. Go for it, kids. Uh, I suppose there's a bit more rating to be had here. Hmm. We'll see how long this takes. I've risen so fast to the top that other people regard me with envy. My consort and lover is jealous. Fantastic. Lenny begged me to help him in, uh, help him become as successful as me. It was almost disgusting how he admired my ambition and success. Okay, Lenny. I'll teach you for money. High Chiefess Dobroslava approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument, something to raise our cultural status and make the people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold in your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. 17.4 ducats. Not bad. You know what? Go for it. Because we could actually get a lot of prestige from this. Knock on wood. Can we please capture the um, king of or the uh, duke of Lithuania? Because that would be amazing. And that place is almost done. Um, supply limit is still not great though. Hmm. Why don't you follow through and... Wait, didn't I siege this place down? I could have sworn. I already sieged this place down, no? I think I've already read this event before, but just in case I didn't, um, many find it odd that a Velky Volv works in the fields, but tending to the land and crops makes you feel closer to Yarillo, more so than in any prayer. As you take a short break, you notice Chiefess, uh, Chiefess Rost Rostislava approaching you. Uh, you great and exchange some words about the harvest. It turns out that she is also a follower of Yarillo. Uh, I think we're already on good terms, so let's just get more piety, thanks. Fantastic. Yes! Exactly what I was hoping for. Alright, sir. You're gonna be put in house arrest. Maybe not with your son. And we'll just keep you around for when the uh, time is right and you can ransom your ass. Alright, for now though, 
I think we're pretty much done here, right? Pretty much, I think. Mm, I guess there's no real point in seeking this place down anymore, unless you have trinkets. You do not. You make me sad. What? A fireworks guild built in Kiev? By a master engineer? I don't have a master engineer. What? Okay. So this random mercenary guy has a master engineer. And I guess he's in Kiev for some reason. So... <laughs> That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So the random mercenary guy for some reason is in Kiev. And because he has no lands for himself, she decided to develop the uh, territory that she's staying in right now. That is such a blessing. Wow. Fantastic. Um, We're almost done with this place. Yes? Almost? And there we go. That might not have been worth it, but that's fine. Goran was introduced by a mutual friend and we talked for quite a while. We had our differences and a few arguments, then we found common safe ground and I began enjoying myself. Goran seems to be a decent person. Mmm... I guess we might as well befriend him. Sure, why not? Alright, troops, you're back home, so let's dismiss. Thank you. Whoa, that was all of them? Wow, okay. Uh, then I think we'll... Hmm... You have a metric fuck ton of troops. Which is problematic. Uh, and we still don't have enough prestige to be able to do a forced vassalization war against this guy. Alright, then maybe we look for new targets? Can't attack for another three years. And I believe we have a truce with Lithuania as well. I mean, we could just execute him. Hmm. And then his heir takes over. And then we go to war with his heir. Or what? Or a holy war for Yatvingi, I think. Right. So we take that and then. Hmm. Or how about we maybe. Because we still need to take the rest of the kingdom of Novgorod. Um. Alright, so can we actually get prestige for holy wars? We do. Not much though, 50 prestige. Right. I see. Alright, so... Veps? Oh, it spans across two realms. Hmm. And we don't have enough piety for two holy wars right now. Okay, well, I guess then we'll start with one of these guys and then uh, attack the other one after we're done with the first holy war. Yeah, that might be the way to go. Otherwise, can we maybe... Make your tributary? No, I think we need to uh, border them. And you... We can, but I'd rather... We just take your territory, because again, we do need uh, Vladimir and Chernigov as well. Hmm, or we could attack Bulgaria, I guess. I would want to do a Holy War for Kalich at some point or another, but... Um, now they're Tengri. Meaning that other Tengri lords who will uh, come in to defend them. We could also attack Pomerania because they're filthy heretics. Um, but if we're going to do that, I think we might as well do these guys instead. Alright, let's do Vets first. Thank you. And troops, assemble. Let's do this. Alright, everyone up north. Great. Supply limit is not amazing. Hmm... Yeah, that's going to be a problem for sure. But hopefully by the time we get there, it'll be not winter. Uh, What am I going to get? I'll meet something good. It is economy. Sure. And we have another one of these uh, dudes. You know what? This is perfect timing because we are actually in the middle of a holy war. So let's go for it. My dear liege, I was just approached by... Ephrosinia. Who tried to convince me to join her in her vile heresy. I hope you can convince her to see uh, sense. Okay, sure, I guess. Demand uh, reconversion, but I'm assuming that she will say no? 
Or she will say yes. Okay, good for you, girl. Good for you. You are still a viable, um... You know, person for uh, giving land to them. I could not fail to notice how joining the Champions of Perun seems to have roughened, roughened up my son. The training he is going through is undoubtedly getting results, but it is also turning my clean, handsome son into a coarse, foul-mouthed fighter. I don't care. He's a son. I don't give any fucks at all. Hmm... Although, what would the supply limit not being so great? I'm wondering if maybe we should just send our troops to, uh, or our vassals to, uh, take care of this instead of me. Hmm... Yeah, why don't you guys just try to siege down if you can? And I won't need to worry about um, sending my own troops to uh, get killed in those uh, places. Although... Hmm... What is going on with you? You're defending against this guy. And you just lost. And I'm pregnant! Whoa! At 45? Really? Okay, cool. And I have 10,000 troops. Hot damn! Alright, uh, I think we're going to need to st uh, send about 2,000 up north here. Although, the other army should... You know what? How about we just stay here, and then we assign our vassals to go deal with this nonsense. Yeah, sure. The monument promised by High Chieftain uh, Doboslava is finished. Upon unveiling, a statue of yourself is revealed, and you notice the crowd smiling and giving you a round of applause. Whoa! 200 prestige! Exactly what I needed for the, uh, Force Vassalization War. Fantastic. Alright, siege that down whenever possible, please. Just siege it down. Just go for the assault. Do it. Do it. What are you doing? What are you doing? More event spawn troops. Great. Uh, actually, can we use the event spawn troops to uh, do this instead? I think that would be perfect. Go for that one, please. Thank you. No? Well, at least it's them sacrificing their troops, so I'm okay with that. Sure. Mmm... Move on to the next county, please. Great, and that one's almost done, too. Alright. I really wanted to uh, kidnap your children and family, but I guess this isn't happening. Then. Fine, be that way. What in the world are you guys doing? You know what? Just disband my troops. I can't trust these Goombas. No, they're all idiots. I'm surrounded by assholes. And surrender? Yeah, you do. Fantastic. So now you've got no lands. Um, do you want to just come to my uh, my world and um, work for me? Actually, I can't hire you because you're not a woman. Unfortunate. All right. Uh, let's see. So that's the Duchy of Veps, and the capital is. Oh, I see. Well, the technology in this location is a little bit better. So, I think I might actually just make this the de facto capital, then. Alright, so who wants to rule over what? Ooh. Alright, so we need to give away three counties. Do we have three candidates? We have two. Let me see if we can get maybe one more. Uh, Noble? Alright, Ambitious. You're gonna get buried inside of someone else's butthole, so Merry Christmas, miss. Um, I'm gonna give you... ...that one, sure. And... I'm gonna give you... You know what, maybe... Maybe you're too good for it. Yeah, I'd rather you be my count than someone else's count. Alright, there we go. Let's have you take the other location, that's... ...that one. And, of course, last but not least, the really powerful, uh, Marshal Lady. Alright, miss. I'm gonna give you... that. Enjoy. And I believe... a Holy War is now... coming your way. boy. Or should we actually just do the, uh, Force Vassalization War now? No, you know what? We'll just finish this off. Hmm... Yeah, just send our... <gasps> a new daughter? Could it be another genius? Oh, you make me sad. You make me very sad. But, I did promise to uh, name you Edelgard, or Analgard. There you go, enjoy Edelgard. Good grief. Not a genius? What the hell, my last daughter? Unbelievable. Ugh, just the worst. Alright, troops, let me get your help with this situation, please. Thank you. Alright, get in there, folks. 
I know we're going to be over the supply limit, but these are only event spawn troops, so I don't really care too much. As long as we don't just completely lose them or some such nonsense. Yeah, just stay there and siege it down. There's no woman better at increasing the church's opinion of me, or teach me to become a more pious woman than my diviner Samboya. I'm going to go with monthly piety increase, thanks, because I don't think we have a lot of, uh, what's it, um, theocracy vassals or whatever. Yeah... While carrying out my duties for the champions of Perun, I have met hero Svetozar on several occasions. These encounters have never ended well. One would be hard-pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect he's spreading lies behind my back to rep damage my reputation. Yep, better rivals. Fuck this guy. Can I actually attack him? Mm, once we're out of this war, I guess. You want me to fo focus on carousing? I guess since I'm no longer um, of age to uh, give birth, sure, but actually I might want to focus on stewardship instead. So I'm going to say no and instead focus on rulership. And yes, there we go. No longer over my domain limit. Mm, that's a problem. Mm, but I think we should be able to defend against them fairly easily. And you want me to break up with someone. Fine. Well, we'll break up with a guy who's not my, uh, consort. Ugh. Cert. Come on, dude. Alright. Wait. Was this holy war only for one county? No, it's not. Hold on. It's not a conquest war, is it? No, it's a holy war for reps. So I don't know why that one's not being highlighted then. Alright, you know what? I think we're gonna need to attack his troops, so... Why don't you guys gather around where my event spawn troops are, and we'll go party with them. Sure. Hmm, not really gathering around as much as I like, but I think we'll have to just do this. There we go. All right, with the terrain advantage, I feel like we should probably win. Knock on wood. Um, would the other people around us send reinforcements? No? All right, then. Fine, then. Eat a dick and, um, jeez. Ugh, idiots. All right. I think that should hopefully be good. Might be a little overkill, but whatever. Go for it. And let's take this ter uh, territory back. Alright, so we need to uh, siege down one more place before we can um, get the ticking war score stuff. And another Royal Rumble. Fantastic. Woo! You would be a good port physician if you weren't such a Dumbo. And now the uh, Dumbo is dead. As is this man. For shits and giggles that down. 74% war score. Hmm. Going a lot slower than I anticipated, not gonna lie. And you're going into there. Let me actually siege down your capital. Maybe I can uh, kidnap your family members and whatnot. What? In the world is going on? Wait, what did you do? Why are you imprisoned? Wait, why do I have you imprisoned? Oh! Hold on. Oh, it's you! Oh, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, um... I'm gonna go ahead and humiliate you. Sure. And then we'll just wait to see if you uh, plot something or join a plot or something. I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Sacrifice, thank you. And kill this beardy man as well. Sure. 80% war score, almost there. I believe in us more people to sacrifice and you know what since we're not um not we don't need to uh, stay home and get plowed by our husbands anymore or uh consorts etc etc i guess i'll actually just lead troops now sure and i think i'll do some more fighting then go for it come on tell me that we can capture the actual lord himself because that would be amazing I don't think we can actually siege this place or assault the holding there, but that's fine. It's only a few ticks until we're uh, good. Gonna be taking a lot of attrition, but oh well. That's fine. Again, they're all just event spawn troops, so I don't really care. And? Oh, we are actually at 100%. Um, let's get you guys back into our territory before we end the war here. Sure. And I guess we'll get set up for our... Uh, invasion of, uh, this place, Akala. 
All right, my dude. There you go. Enjoy. Sadly, I did not get to uh, kidnap your family members, so I do apologize for that. Mm, let's forge a couple of new human beings. Sure. Oh, content. Hmm. I'm gonna keep you around for someone else or some other location. All right, there we go. These two will be fine. All right, so you can take uh, that one. Enjoy. And you, miss, can take the other place. Biznatch. Fantastic. Hmm. How do I deal with you? Can I maybe plot to revoke some shit? Right. The remove dude. Can I just change my law? I can. Fantastic. I don't think there's any uh, rush to get absolute uh, tribal organization just yet, so... Sure. What? Wait, my event spawn troops just buggered off. Oh, I guess they get uh, dismissed after uh, the Holy War stuff. Interest. Oh, you have another filthy heretic. Well, let me see if I have any direct vassals from whom I can revoke shit. Uh, let's start with this guy. You're not gonna rebel against me, are you? No. And you? Will you rebel against me? Maybe. Mmm, I'm hoping he doesn't, but, um... Oh, he just capitulated. Fantastic. Uh, let me give away Latgala to someone else, and that's the capital of... No, it's not! Interesting. Okay. Um... Then let me give Latgala to this lady. Enjoy. And please say yes to the, uh... Yes to the dress? Not the lady. The uh, guy who that we are trying to um, revoke shit from, that is. Alright, noble. Another content lady, but whatever. When my husband's mare had to be put down, I promised Zenyi that I would find a new suitable uh, ride for him. Now I'm in luck. Not only one, but three different mares have been uh, brought to Kiev. Well, I mean, husband, I would like to get you a nice horse, but you've only given me three children. Only one genius, by the way, so... Yeah. What the hell, dude? What the hell? Alright, so... Yariska is the capital of that duchy, so let's install the, uh, content lady in... Sorry, Yursika. My bad. I don't know why I said Yariska. Sure. And the other county will go to... somebody else. A lot of content people being generated. Fantastic. All right, and we're still uh, below the vast limit. Whoa, what the hell happened to Lithuania? Oh, just got swallowed up by Pomerania? How? Did you guys lose a uh, vassalization war? Oh, you know what, though? Now that um, Lithuania is no longer independent, we can actually go to war with against uh, Pomerania for uh, Yatvingia. Ah, right. And Kazaria is still extremely powerful, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, that's definitely a problem. Well, um, since we only have about maybe seven-ish minutes left in the episode, let's actually wrap this up and we'll do a tour around the world and see what's happening in the other, um, well, other parts of the world, I guess. Okay. So looking inside of our own country, um. Still good mix of Old Slavic and New Slavic. But I think... Hmm... Yeah, it seems like New Slavic is mostly only in our um, realm. For now, at least. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I think we're the only reformed Slavic uh, ruler out there. Besides Sakala, that is. Alright, well... Oh yeah, we should probably do a Force Vassalization War against this guy first, and then maybe attack Kazari or something next? In any case. Um, so that's the Religion Map Mode for our realm, and the Culture Map Mode for our realm as well. Oh! A little bit of a Russian down here. Interesting. And I thought we'd also be converting to a Russian since we're no longer a um, unreformed a Pagan, but maybe that works a little differently. But in any case, good to see that the culture is uh, sprouting up there. Nice. Um, to the west, we have West Francia. A giant-ass fucking blob, I guess. 
And there air is Bavaria. Interesting. Well, I mean, not that interesting because I'm pretty sure that's generally how it goes. And another calling on the throne in Saxony. Really? Lombardy seems to be uh, pretty intact for the most part. Mm, with what's this? Uh, Sicily as their. Um, that is the du the kingdom of Sicily, right? Yeah, the kingdom of Sicily as its uh, tributary state. And the Byzantines are now going into North Africa. Interesting. And the former Umayyads are nowhere to be found. What happened to them? Conquered as leader of an uprising. Whoa! Oh, I see. Oh, the Shia uprising happened here. What in the world? There's an African revolt. To increase council power. Oh, it started down here. I see. Hmm, well, we'll watch your career with great interest. Um, but good to see that the... I guess Sunni influence kind of stops around here. Assuming that these guys actually, you know, win and all that crap. Hmm. And of course the British Isles still a giant mess as it usually is. Scandinavia seems to be kind of settling a little bit with uh, Ragnar leather pants in uh, Svithyod, of course. I actually wouldn't mind getting his uh, bloodline. Might not be a bad idea to uh, try to acquire that. And Vestasland, Irish uh, Theocracy, right? And we can also get the Nile of the Nine Hostages uh, bloodline too, which will actually enable Tanistry for us. <laughs> Interesting. Um, down in Central and uh, Western Africa, we have the usual fare, of course. Songhe seems to be getting a little bigger, but um, I doubt anything will unfortunately will come out of this. Unless the Shias are constantly fighting the Sunnis here and keeping them busy, but I kind of doubt it. And of course, we have the Abbasids who are intact again. At one point, I think they were kind of going through a major civil war, but um, they seem to be getting their shit back together. And we have the Yemen dudes who are now only warring for Socotra. Interesting. I guess this is the alternate universe where uh, Socotra didn't have their... Um, Merchant, uh, you know, origins, etc., etc. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that you guys want me to look at in Eastern Europe. But we've been kind of in this area anyway, so I figured we've kind of already seen what we uh, wanted to see. Um, Asia Minor-ish area, I guess. And then we have Persia. The Zoom Bill still around. Is it me, or are they bigger than the, uh start out as. Wait, was Zaranj? I guess Zaranj is always part of Zunbil. It's Ghazna that's not part of Zunbil, right? I'm pretty sure this was conquered by someone else. Or maybe not. Why am I thinking that it's bigger than it, um... Because I'm pretty sure it just start, starts out as these three, uh, counties. Oh, right, and then, uh, never mind. I'm, I'm uh, misremembering, I think, but yeah. India is... what in the world? Tibet's been bitchified by this guy? No way. Whoa. Ambitious, dude. Damn. Alright. India is not very fragmented, it turns out. Fragmented? Uh, fragmented, as it turns out. Huh. Well, I mean, it still kind of is, but... You know, this guy seems to be going around uh, curb stomping people, so... Yeah. And of course, the uh, Steps region. The usual fare, as it normally is. Ultra map mode, in case you're curious. In India as well. And in uh, the Middle East. In Africa. In Western Africa. And then we have Europe. Uh, mostly Frankish in uh, France, obviously. And a bit of this and that, I guess. Yeah, nothing too crazy developing so far. But it's still fairly early in the campaign, so I'm sure it's only a matter of time before shit it just flies off the handle and uh, all that such. All right, well, uh, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and we may... No, we'll definitely attack Sakala. Turn this guy into my uh, little bitch. As in, not a tributary state, but a uh, vassal. <laughs> I should um, not mix terms. 
And then we might even attack uh, Pomerania and try to take uh, Yadvingia, which is also part of Lithuania. Right. Hmm. Now, our biggest foe is Kazaria, but, uh, yeah, we might need to, um, wait until we're... You know what? No. I've actually got a lot of uh, domain troops, it turns out, so might not be a bad time to attack them. Because in it, if we mix or match up their troops, their troop count plus my troop count plus my uh, vassal troop count, we might be able to um, square off against them. Eh, it's still a little risky though, but we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!